According to most studies, people's number one fear is public speaking. Number two is death. Death is number two. Does that seem right to you? Jerry Seinfeld says that means to the average person, if you have to go to a funeral, you're better off in the cast gasket than doing the eulogy. The authors of Public Speaking in a Diverse Society state, for effective public speakers, the payoffs are extraordinary. It is the good public speakers that get hired, promoted, elected, admired, honored, and respected. Public speaking is a requirement for success in virtually every field. Our ability to express ourselves verbally is quite possibly the most influential tool we as human beings can use. Talk is not cheap. Today I'm going to explain three ways that public speaking can be valuable to you personally outside this classroom. First, I'll explain how public speaking can enhance your personal competence and social skills. Then, I'll talk about how public speaking can help you in your career and academic goals. And finally, I'll reveal how public speaking can enrich you in your community. In our text, The Art of Public Speaking by Stephen Lucas, we are informed that we spend nearly 30% of our waking hours in conversation. 30%. I believe that percentage clearly demonstrates how relative the subject of public speaking is to us in our daily lives. Joseph DeVito, author of The Elements of Public Speaking, states, Public speaking helps us improve our self-awareness, self-confidence, and helps us in addressing our fear of communication. It is through public speaking opportunities that we improve our individual and social competencies. A good example of uh, this public speaking in your personal life is asking somebody out. How many of you ever asked someone out? I know I have plenty of times. And I've started to realize that asking someone out on a date is a lot like giving a speech. You're probably nervous. You want to be informative, persuasive, and it even helps if you're entertaining. Now I'm going to move on to another area where public speaking will help you outside the classroom in your career and academic goals. A good background on public speaking helps to enhance your ability to thoroughly research a topic. Good research is useful in college and many careers. Public speaking has shown us how to analyze and evaluate the validity of arguments and persuasive appeals. And it's also shown us how to organize a variety of messages for clarity and impact. It is often said that the number one skill that employers look for in an applicant is their ability to communicate. Technical skills and procedures can be taught easily, but communication cannot. Now I'm going to move on to another area where I believe you uh, will be using public speaking outside of the classroom here, and that is in your community. The authors of Principles and Types of Speech Communication assert to speak in public is to declare yourself to be a member of the community. Going public with your ideas, you demand that others accept you and your suggestions as worthy of consideration. Speaking in public is a personal declaration of your beliefs and values and your right to be a representative of your community. To be silent is to be invisible. Public speaking is our attempt to right social wrongs. A good example of this is a man by the name of Jello Biafra. He used to be the lead singer of a band called the Dead Kennedys. Recently, uh, he's given speeches to groups and colleges speaking out about issues like censorship and government. I'd like you to take a listen to how powerful of an impact he's using. Someday, even the experts will figure out that crime is not caused by rap music or even my music. but by a power structure of self-absorbed property owners so brain-dead and stupid they won't even see that if you're too goddamn greedy to pay taxes for schools and services they're not going to be any good anymore and that uneducated time bombs are a very poor investment as a future workforce and if you go on teaching people that life is cheap and leave them to rot in ghettos and jails they may one day feel justified in coming back to rob and kill you. Duh. I know the first time I heard that, it had a real powerful impact on me. I think it's fairly obvious why. Uh, you're not seeing anything. You're just simply hearing him communicate verbally. He speaks the truth. He speaks it powerfully. It gets you stirred up emotionally. I believe that's a very good example of how public speaking, how you can use it, to right social wrongs, to make change in your community, in your work environment, wherever that may be. The authors of Principles of Speech Communication argue that preparing and delivering speeches in college 
helps you to prepare to take part in your community. They further argue that the Pledge of Allegiance, Boy Scout Oath, Church Prayers, etc. are all said aloud. This public talk helps to bond and bind these groups. Our classroom is a perfect example of that. Look at through our speeches how much we've learned about each other and how we're closer because of it. So today I've shown you three ways that you can use public speaking skills outside of this classroom. I've explained how you can use these traits in your personal, social life, in your academic and professional life, and in your community. The question is not when will I use these skills again, but rather when won't I be using these skills. Thank you.